Yo, what's going on there, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Power Rangers Legacy Wars. My name is Jonathan Snow. We are back, and we're doing a showcasing of Lauren today. I haven't done a showcasing on her just yet because she actually just got buffed with this upcoming uh, update. So I'm going to read to you on the official uh, Power Rangers Legacy Wars website. I'm going to tell you guys what buffs that she has gotten. We're going to go ahead and do some gameplay with her. We'll do a couple of matches to see how we fare. So let's do this real quick. So right now for Lauren, Lauren is already a viable warrior, but her damage output simply did not match other epics. So she is an epic and she was very, very lackluster, should I say, um, before this upcoming patch. So now, uh, in addition, higher damage output. We heard complaints about the speed of the Kanji Blast, so speed has been increased as well. Now she truly feels epic. So. Right now, her Samurai Strike is she does a multi-slash. It is increased by 25%, which is great. Sorry, uh, Samurai Strike is actually when she just dashes forward and, and uh, does one slice. Sa a samurai Combo was decreased from 5 to 3, which that means more frequently she'll have that move available. Uh, sword Charge is increased by 20%, and Kanji Blast decreased startup time, which makes it a little bit more faster. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to do some gameplay real quickly here. I'm going to go... Go ahead and switch myself around. Oh my goodness, everything is falling behind me. What is going on here? Hold up. Hold up. All right, let's do this. This is so unprofessional, but here we go. We're going to check out Lauren today and see. As you can see, uh, she was a featured warrior today on my, um, you know, on my game-wise. So I went ahead and uh, got some more of her shards, which she only got three more shards, so I actually can use her. So we're going to go ahead and unlock her to level three. So we can see what the upgrade increases are here. So let's do that real quickly. Click up upgrade. Wario level three. As we as we said before, um, Samurai combo is she does a multi slash about four or five hits, which is great. Samurai strike is just a one slice uh, down uh, straight forward. Sword uh, flame sword is a really good move too. It's a very it's a charge up breaker, but then she just um, hits you up in the air which gives you a good launching, which then you can combo with the Samurai combo. Or Kanji Blast as well is another move that you could combo it off well. So here we go. We're going straight into it. Actually, you know, we actually should, you know, do a setup here. Um, I think I like this setup more, uh, most of all. Yeah, we're going to keep it like this. Our health is at 1501, which is great. So let's get this started. Let's get this started. Here we go. I know you see the blue screen background. That is the official website of Power Rangers Legacy Wars. Definitely do so. Uh, keep that as your home page and stuff so that you can know what the upcoming updates are. So here we go. Let's do this. All right, here we go. Oh, man. Here comes Rita. All right. Hopefully we get some blocks in. Go. All right. And I forgot to say that I actually unlocked... Mezagog assist so we will be doing that right after this fight because I totally forgot to add him on the team I've been so hyped to actually get him today and we did which is awesome Slice What? That still hit me? Oh, oh no, I was gonna hit that block button. All right, we can't hit the block button. Here we go She's gonna block uh, We're gonna block that we do the kanji blast. There we go samurai strike we're gonna back up a little bit. She may go a little bit more aggressive. Can we block that? I was pushing block. I was pushing block for sure. Samurai combo. And then Samurai strike. Samurai combo once again. So good. She's so fast. She's definitely very epic. Oh my goodness. Oh my good. Oh my goodness. Good game. That was that, my friend. That was a great combo by Rita. So I played very poorly there. I do not know why. All right, here we go. We're actually, I'm gonna switch out Goldar. I actually wanna use Mezagog Assist because I actually wanna see how it is. So it's a two for one combo today, guys. Two for one, here we go. I actually did unlock him finally. Here we go, look how awesome he looks. He only has 63 health, but he does 114 damage as a legendary. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna increase that by a lot to 123. Hopefully that sound is not is not really bad at the end. Here we go. We're gonna use them, so we dropped down to 13. We were at 1501 health. Now we're at 1314, so health is a big thing on this game. So make sure you always have the highest health possible mm -hmm. because you can live longer, obviously. So here we go. All right, so we're gonna do about mother, uh, mother, another two to three games. I have mother in my mind because Sunday, 
yesterday, today is Monday. Yesterday, Sunday was uh, Mother's Day, so happy Mother's Day to everyone out there. All right, here we go. So we get that free combo. Ooh, look at that. Pop, 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 pop. And slice and dice. Here we go. So we got to be careful because we don't want to get end up like that either. Uh, he whiffed. I have no idea how he whiffed. We have no block, so we are, like, to, the, to his mercy right now. Africa, we get that. Africa again, we get that again. I could have done the samurai combo, but I want my energy to be, to be a little bit. So we can slice and dice him right there. Alright, can we... Okay, we back away. Alright. There we go. There we go. Mega Dog got that down, which is fantastic. He's pushing up really, but... The oh, okay. Here we go, we get to get uppercut, get to the Anji Blast, get to the Samurai Combo. Alright, so we do have a block just in case. Oh, block, oh, block. oh my goodness. But you can see how great and fast Lord is. She's very, very good. We were playing against somebody level 9, so we were giving him a run for his money, to be honest. A level 6 versus level 9. I always tell people this also, when people are a higher level than you and you could take them down to almost like mere health, that means that you were doing a great job of fighting. So don't be discouraged if you ever lose to somebody higher level than you like that. Um, that just proves to tell you that you were actually really good in this game. So definitely stay encouraged to that. So here we go. We got, we're fighting against somebody level 5 as well. All right, here we go. Kanji Blast. All right, we get that free damage. There we go. That range is so ridiculous, too. All right, so he's going to do the one-two punch combo. He may do the that the, the Superman punch from Roman Reigns. Samurai Strike. It's a Samurai Combo. Okay, we can't do nothing about that. We're going to wait. Get our Lauren out. He, she misses, but that's okay. All right, Samurai Strike. Get that distance. We're gonna wait. We're gonna wait to refill. Samurai combo. He's gonna block it. Hopefully we can dodge on away, which we, which we don't, which is sad. Alright, so we're doing, we're doing pretty well right now. Oh my goodness, here we go. Oh my goodness. This is very bad today. We're doing very bad today. Sometimes you get into a losing streak like that. Uh, you know, it happens. You know what I mean? It happens. Winning, losing, it happens. So hopefully you don't get too discouraged too. Sometimes when you become... Sometimes like myself, when I get into like a losing streak and I feel like it's getting really discouraging, what I do is I like to take a break from the game and come back maybe an hour later and see how it is. And then if not... I'll put the game away for the next day, and then we'll do it again. You know what I mean? So, you never should stay frustrated when you do lose, if anything. All right, so we're getting four face against Jay So Savage. Can we take a victory today? All right. Get bopped in our head. All right, so he's going to take this hit regardless. It's a Samurai combo. And then a Samurai Slash. So, we did, a, we did about 400 damage right now to him. All right, so we're going to move forward. Hopefully this connects. It did not connect fast enough. We're going to use Mesagog. So he can punch her. Alright, we're going to block that. We're going to do some damage right here. We got to wait until we refill. Okay. I'm going to try to concentrate here. Oh, I don't know why I blocked that. Wow, okay. As you can see, I have no blocks. Uh, so that's kind of kind of bad. No! Oh my goodness, we're taking that damage. Taking that L, guys. Taking that L today, as you can see. Yo, guys, I want to say sorry about that. I actually touched the, the record button. I shut it off. But that is it, guys, for today's video. Uh, for Lauren's gameplay, I know, I know, it's just unfortunate I didn't get to win, uh, hardly anything, but 
as you can see, sometimes you win some, you lose some, you know what I mean? I'm not going to just only upload just victory. Sometimes, you know, I do lose as well. So that is it to showcase for Lauren. She is definitely a great, and we're receiving donations. But as you can see, she is definitely a great character. Um, she's very fast, does very high amount of damage. I guess just sometimes, some, sometimes I guess I don't feel comfortable playing as her. Sometimes you'll, um, each player has their special ranger they can, or their signature ranger that they can use to uh, use for victory. So Lauren, to me, is not that for me, but she is really good character. So that is it for today's video. Hope, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. And uh, let me know down in the comments below, what do you think about Lauren? Um, what is your favorite ranger out of the rangers that are available to us right now currently in the roster? So I'm definitely excited to hear what you guys thought. So that is it. I hope you guys have a great time, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.